This will be the most useful seven minutes that you'll ever watch about AI. I promise you, and that is not just because I'm amazing at this, but because Claw, sorry, uh, Gemini 2.5 Experimental has been released. I played around with it for about eight hours yesterday. It is an amazing model. It is better than Claude Sonnet 3.7, in my opinion, and it can take a lot of context. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a mega prompt. The one prompt that you need to be able to help a large language model get the best information out of you and then give you a structured way to think about it uh, and basically build a mega prompt. So this is a mega prompt to build a mega prompt. Let's dive in. All right, one thing I want you to do is I want you to go uh, search the web for all of the greatest and latest tactics um, to be able to interact with large language models as of today. Come back with amazingly structured information. All right, so we're just going to start by making sure that uh, we have some good context. All right, now that we know that, what I want you to do is I have some opinions about how best to... Uh, to talk with AI, and that is that things must, um, uh, th there basically must be different modes. So there has to be a question mode, which is like getting uh, um, a lot of information out of the subject. Then there must be a research mode where it goes and it like finds things online. Um, and then finally, there must be an answer mode where only after the two first modes have um, done are there uh, really basically outputs. So um, taking a concept of these, uh, this notion of modes, I think also there needs to be discrete steps. And the order of those steps matter. Those are going to be defined in the research mode where you're basically, uh, after you ask questions of the user, um, the research mode will help sort of think through those steps. Um, I think also uh, it's really important to have a lot of tokens. So um, uh, so really, there has to be a lot of words. You're very, very bright. You're the brightest model around. I like you very much. And I think that um, the more words that you provide, the better the large language model is going to be able to understand. I also think now with a large amount of uh, tokens that um, you can afford to uh, paste in all of this prompt to help guide this large language model. I think also checking steps after every step is really important. Um, uh, what else do you think is ultra important to be able to get a mega prompt to perform really well, to basically help take any task that a user has and then build a process for the large language model to uh, engage with that task? Basically, my goal is I want to create one mega prompt here that anyone can come with a basic question and the large language model will extract information out of people, go research the web, and then give um, basically a step-by-step -step process that will um, help them interact with the large language models for the problem that they're solving. So it's a little bit of a meta process. Help me think through this. Uh, you can't hear, but it just started pouring, came back from a walk. Um, all right, so basically what we're doing is we're going to use a large language model to help us build a mega prompt so that you can talk with the large language model in the absolute best way. You don't need my weird talky, talky brain. Um, uh, and actually, Gemini, I found, is the best at being able to get these complex processes out of my head and onto, onto the page. Uh, when I tried this with Claude, it just didn't work all that well, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What does done look like? Yes. Um, yes. I think also um, uh, part of this process should be to find uh, actual examples in the wild. So before we can get to a process too, in the research mode, it should go find examples. And, and then like, it doesn't matter if those are, they're not the scalable solution, but it's like that will give something the user to react to. Um, Yes. So I have this concept of creative constraint with context. So the model can be ultra creative, but it needs to be, uh, it needs to have context and it needs to be constrained. And that's really important um, to basically help define the boundaries um, uh, before it can be ultra creative. Um, great. Yeah. Okay. Great. This is fantastic. Do you, is there anything else that you need to be able to create an amazingly crazy specific mega prompt with like unrealistic amount of details here that is like at least 200,000 tokens? Uh, what else do you need to be able to create this uh, meta prompt process? So basically what we're just going to do is we're going to give you a, a workflow. And by the way, 
This is the type of stuff I'm going to do with the Cannonball live this Friday at 9 a.m. We're going to do the PVP, permissionless value prop, for four brands. You're going to see me interact with models like this. I'm going to put the link below. Uh, I hope that this will be useful for you. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Great, great, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. Clarity, great. Okay, so the primary audience is people that are trying to um, either reverse engineer or talk to large language models to be able to get information out of their head and make the most out of the large language models. Um, and yes, it is for another advanced LM to follow. Uh, basically, it's not code, it's just text. Um, and it basically is the interface between the human user and the large language model. So it gives the guidelines to the large language model to get the most out of the human user and leverage the, uh, the LLM the most. Um, um, no, I mean, I think that this will likely use for like business and tech people. So I, I, I do think that that is, um, that the, I actually don't want a hypothetical example task because, well, and let, I guess if you think it's useful uh, in this case, I think a hypothetical example would be like, find me someone that is in the exact situation that might need my product today. And it would walk you through all the like, okay, who's your ICP? Who's your persona? Um, but this can be used for anyone. So, um, and basically that process is who's your ICP? Who's your persona? What problems are they in? How would you identify those problems publicly? What are, um, can you go identify some companies that are in that situation? That would that look like. Um, and uh, the output of the mega prompt is just like a, it's just a text. It is a guideline that will eventually be basted back into Gemini on how to engage with this process. So the single prompt should determine all of the ways in which the model is used. So like you should use emotionally charged language and really strict language when you're defining the way in which the large language model um, should inter interact. Um, uh, no, I mean it. It is like it should be exact. Um, is there anything else that you need to be able to create this mega prompt? So again, what we're trying to do here is get the model to um, basically build a framework for you so you can copy and paste this mega prompt and um, and have it answer any question. I have this song in my head. You want I, I would play it, but I'm worried I'll get... Uh, All right. Great. All right. So if you want uh, this mega prompt process, go ahead and comment on this post. Let me know if you're going to the cannonball. I will ship this thing to you. I'll DM it to you. What I want you to do is if you've got here, uh, comment cannonball <laughs> and I'll share you this mega prompt process. Thank you for coming. I am so grateful for you. And as always, I am here because you are here and I couldn't be more thankful to have you watch my content. <laughs> I am not programmed to assist with that. We'll, <laughs> we'll fix that. Later.